The truth about the Oilers' loss in the NHL playoffs. As mentioned in an earlier video called Why the Edmonton Oilers Will Not Win the Stanley Cup, I said, Looking at the first concern of this Oilers team, perhaps the greatest failure of the McDavid era Oilers is their inability to find solid goaltending. Now I made this video a week out from the playoffs, not because I disliked the Oilers, but mainly because I've seen many other hockey channels hopping on the Edmonton bandwagon since McDavid was just tearing it up in the regular season. I could understand the optimism at the time, but when I seen clear titles on YouTube like the NHL should be terrified of the Edmonton Oilers, I felt like channels were just pumping out content for views and not trying to make any legitimate analysis. I couldn't be the only one seeing things differently, because as I've said, this is an unbiased channel, so I gave my thoughts on the Oilers. My main point in the video that I showed earlier was that the bulk of their offense came from that of McDavid and Dreisaitl, which meant they'd struggle to receive offense from their bottom six, and on top of that, most of their offense came from the power play instead of five on five. And last but not least, of course, I said that skill wasn't ready to carry this team to a championship. Now the amount of comments on that video that were filled with hundreds of reasons why I was mistaken was unbelievable. People saying that I was making a bias analysis and that I had no idea what I was talking about. So you know we have to look at some of the comments and then we'll look at some stats to see if anything I said was completely inaccurate. The first comment that ages unbelievably well says great, another YouTube hockey expert obviously has never watched an Oilers game, keep up the great work buddy. I will admit I haven't watched every single Edmonton Oilers game this season, my schedule does get pretty busy but it doesn't take a genius to figure out that Skinner just wasn't ready. He's still young and he's got a lot of experience left to go in his career to be primed for a deep cup run. The next comment says, I think buddy was high when he made this video, Edmonton has been super consistent as of late and I believe he's referring to the comments I made in my Oilers cup video where I discussed that the Edmonton Oilers had a track record of being inconsistent throughout the regular season and the playoffs. Some games they would look unbeatable and other games just completely sloppy. I feel like we've seen that this series as well with the Oilers as some games they would have a spectacular performance from their big guys, manage to shut the door on the back end, and then in the next game look like a completely different team. Now finally, my favorite comment says, hmm, watched my first Cappy vid the other day. It was great. What is this vid though? Have you been watching the Oilers lately? Depth? Goaltending? I'll give you what you said about Nurse, but wait till Kane heats up. A better video would have been 9 minutes of a silent Boston Bruins logo. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. But jokes aside, I want to preface that being right about the Oilers isn't something to brag about. It's easier to be right about one team out of 16 since only one will win. I also understand that majority of people that were commenting on my video was with personal bias for their team and I get it. But now that maybe some feelings and emotions have been taken out of it, let's look at some stats. So the first of the three points I made was this team's inability to find consistent goaltending. I said Skinner had been inconsistent and had no playoff experience. Well if we look at this chart by Money Puck, Skinner ranks only behind Vanacek for worst goalies this playoff year. The second point that I made was that McDavid and Drysaddle accounted for double the points than that of the rest of the core the last playoff run, and without them, they'd struggle to produce offensively. Well, looking at the stats here from this playoff run, McDavid and Drysaddle do lead the team in points and do still almost double the points of the rest of the core. But having watched them a lot more in the playoffs, I can concede that being the stars of the team, they should lead in points, and given the point distribution isn't completely one-sided, I stand corrected. While I still think the Oilers should do some tweaking to their bottom six, after heating up, they were able to contribute for more than I initially gave them credit for. But the last point I made was that the Oilers were simply inconsistent in their past playoff runs. This Vegas series in particular seems like the exact point of reference any fan would need to see what I'm talking about. There were so many times that Edmonton had chances to take a hold of the series. Not only were they the better team most of the time, but they opened the scoring and had the lead in games 1, 3, 5, and and 6. Game 6 especially they had a 2 goal lead but managed to let it slip away. So all in all, my analysis stands pretty fair. Now the last thing I want to discuss was the results of Game 6. There are only two things worth discussing in my opinion. One, not only did the Vegas Golden Knights just dominate play after the first period, but they took it to Edmonton as if they were the ones on the ropes. But another, and more importantly, the biggest difference in this game was the goaltending. Aiden Hill was nothing short of spectacular, keeping Edmonton at 2, meanwhile Stuart Skinner should have had at least 2 of the 4 goals that he gave up. Aiden Hill was so good, there were so many chances that Edmonton had to tie the game. He absolutely robbed Matthias Ekholm, which could have been the save of the series considering what was at stake, Ekholm practically had an empty net, and yet despite all of that, Edmonton was right there with Vegas throughout the series. I can safely say if Edmonton can get some goaltending, something consistent in the blue crease, this team will be nearly unstoppable. And for those of you that wanted to check out my video on why the Oilers will not win the Stanley Cup that I made over a month ago, I'll put the link in the description box below. But the bottom line is, if you're an Oilers fan, there's loads to look forward to in the future. This team has the potential to be lethal, just pray that Ken Holland makes a decent move in the offseason for a good goaltender and this team is on its way. I also seen so many people saying it's time to trade Connor McDavid on Twitter. 
please just get off Twitter. It's Cappy, and I'm out.